this video helps with the cylinder misfire and shaking issues on 2004 to 2008 F-150s. It's a fairly common problem. So this is out of the normal branch of my normal type of tutorial videos, but I fought enough with it for enough years that I thought I would be the nice guy on YouTube and I would make a video about it. Not the first person to make a video about it, but there's so many different issues and resolutions that it could be that every video helps. So for the 2004 to 2008 F-150s, there is a significant problem with them having cylinder misfire issues and a significant shake. Everyone's different. Mine just happened to be, uh, seemed to be an overdrive. If I went to pass somebody or I really hammered on it, it from the range of 90 to 120, uh, I'd get the engine light flash and it'd pretty much go into limp mode. And then the, it would do it for about 30 seconds and then it would kind of go away after that you could kind of feel the cylinder clear but it was definitely I was having cylinder issues I was chasing misfire codes for different cylinders I changed the all the plugs obviously that's the first thing that everybody says to do and in Canada plugs here are not cheap same with the coils change the coils again that was another 500 dollar investment that really didn't get me anywhere after that same 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 thing so I thought I would make a video on what you could try before you start burning money because it all depends on the truck, I guess. You could spend five, $5 or you could spend $5,000 trying to chase this issue. So a couple things that you can look out for that I've found, especially on this truck. Again, it wasn't all those issues. I don't have a cam phaser issue. I don't have the, the delete kit. I've never touched a cam phaser. Like only, only, I own the only F-150 5.4 that doesn't have a tick apparently, but you know, everyone's different. So depends what, what yours is doing and how you think that would be the best way to fix it. But a couple of things that you can try for, before you start burning your hard earned money. So the PCM, uh, it is possible that it's just got a shit connection. They run on such low voltage that the slightest little it could feel like it's in there but just take it out kind of clean the contacts a little bit just be careful and then slide it back in see if that makes a difference this little bastard right here i don't know if it's on all trucks i'm pretty sure it is i've checked one other truck and it's here this line is a vacuum line and it leads to absolutely nothing it comes out of your air conditioner system uh just the harness it doesn't go to the air conditioner system i don't believe so but uh it's off uh, it was off on mine it's off on the other one so i don't know if they pop off i don't i have no idea what it goes to but i plugged that and my problem went away so well one of the things that i did the, okay it could have been computer could have been that and lastly um the air box cleaner so what i've read for this issue is if you take off your airbox cleaner, um, I don't believe, I don't know if this is the issue. It doesn't really, I mean, scientifically it sounds valid, but I don't know. I don't hold a lot of merit in it, but you can try it. it, it it's worth a shot. It's cheap. So anyway, if you take the, the air cleaner box off from factory, there is a foam um, seal. And I guess it creates a vacuum seal in the air box. And then, so the math sensor is here. And if there's no seal, which like there's a significant gap of about that much letting air in. So what they say happens, and this is an odd one, is it sucks so much air in that it creates a vortex in here, tripping the math sensor and sending it into limp mode. I don't know if that's the case, but again, it's so cheap of a fix that it could have been that one of those three things for me. I think it probably was the computer or that vacuum line, but you never know. But I just bought some strips of uh, foam and redid the foam because you pretty much touch that foam 
and it just crumbles. It, there's just nothing left after this many years. Uh, and then so again, it could be literally anything. Um, just something to try. I bottled with it for so goddamn long that. Again, I decided to make a video, which I normally don't do for these sort of things, but hopefully it stops people from spending thousands of dollars taking into Ford like I did and then scratching their head and having no idea either, so that was money well spent. But before you start snapping plugs, which you're gonna, and before you start burning money for new coils, uh, just give this a shot. Again, that vacuum line, the PC... The computer and the uh, airbox cleaner. Just give it a give it a shot. Uh, again, who the hell knows? So, hopefully this maybe fixes a couple people's problems. Again, who knows what it is with these goddamn things? So, if I could uh, save a couple people the trips, that's I've done my job. So, again, good luck. Good trucks, but you know. Everyone has their issues. Thanks for watching.